Hey honeys, Justina here. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're viewing this video. And honey, welcome back to the Mukbangs. We did Taco Bell this week. So if you guys already knew from my Instagram, we're doing Taco Bell. Um, Damn, that tea's fucking good. But, what have I been up to? So I've been doing videos. You know, like TikToks and all that kind of stuff. Um, plus, I just went to a Cody Jinx concert last night. I'm going to tell you guys about it a little bit later on. And just been working. That's about it. So, today, honey, I'm going to introduce the food first. And you can tell when the food is good because it leaks out of the bag. That's when the food is really good. So, we got Taco Bell. I better hold it up underneath them. I feel this gordita crunch about to go out. All right. There's my receipt. They finally put some napkins in here. But I think the last mukbang I did was a Zaxby's mukbang. That was really good. So we got a Gordita Crunch. I, want, I think we had two Gordita Crunches. Oh, we got a taco with it. Fuck yeah. But it's a hard taco. I love the soft tacos. Another Gordita Crunch. Damn. Did I order all this shit? Fuck. How many damn Gordita Crunches came with it? Yep, Gordita Crunch. No, I threw in a chicken chalupa. I forgot. That's silly me. That's a chicken chalupa. Every time I think of chicken chalupa, or uh, just chalupa, I think about the Oompa Loompas off the, off the char uh, not Charlie, hell. I didn't like that movie. Um, off of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Now, I cannot say I didn't like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I've never really watched it. Never really sat down and watched the whole thing. But Willy Wonka, I love it. So, let's see what we got. I'm not doing a basic taco. I'm not opening that shit up first. Okay. So, if some shit falls, just don't mind it because... Like it's doing now. It's just falling. I'll pick it up later. So, alright, honey. So, we got our um, chicken chalupa. Mm. Damn, that's good. Oh, my God. It's so good with tomatoes on it. And I hate tomatoes, but yeah. Mmm. That's really good. And I also took some questions from Instagram, so we got some questions today. But, honeys, let me tell you guys about the Cody Jinx concert last night. It was the off the chain. We freaking loved it. Um, I drank a little bit. Okay, I had this strawberry vodka lemonade. It was to die for. I freaking loved it. Um, you really didn't taste the lemonade. Did you? you taste strawberry mostly. Strawberry and vodka. And um, what else? Um, that was really good. But hell, they're like so freaking pricey. If you go to an amphitheater or any kind of venue, the fucking pricey is shit. So if you're thinking about drinking at an event, make sure, make sure you bring some extra money. Um, Juan Davis opened up. I think that's his name. Now, don't quote me. Juan Davis opened up. He he was a really good singer. That was my first time ever listening to him. Plus Clint Black. Um, performed when he started with Killing Time. Oh my goodness, I was just singing the whole way through this song because it was so freaking good. That was one of my mama's favorite songs. Then Cody Jinx came on about eight o'clock. Oh goodness gracious, he blew the roof off the place. Like if the if the place had a roof, it would have been blown off because it was so freaking good. It was electrified. Um, Mama's song, oh my goodness, I tore up on the inside listening to that song. Because every time I, every time I play it, 
like on um on the radio or something. Well, on my phone actually. Um, it just you know it just sends. You know, I just think about my mama all the time during the song. It's so freaking good. Um, Cody Jinks was a genius when he created that song. Hell, the man is a genius, period. I don't care what nobody says. Um, what else? He sung that. He sung um, It Must Be the Whiskey. That's one of my all-time favorites. I wish he would have sung Holy Water, but he didn't. Um, but the concert was fan damn -tastic. If you guys have not seen Cody Jensen concert, I highly, highly recommend you guys going. Uh, because the atmosphere is great. Uh, you know, you have everybody there. That's one thing I love about going to an event. Because everybody there loves the artist. And it's like, you guys all have something in common. Especially like when I go to a wrestling event, it doesn't matter if the wrestlers are a heel or a face. If you guys want to know what that means in wrestling terminology, it means bad guy or good guy. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're all there to support one sport. So that's how I feel about a concert. You guys know the artist. You guys grew up listening to the artist. Um, you know, you listen to the artist every single day almost like I do. Because that's how I do with Cody Jinx. Um... But yeah, and you, it's like, it falls, you fall in love. I wish the concert lasted longer, but hell, the concert was already four hours long. Started at six and we didn't get out of there like 1030. Um, but yeah, I wish the concert would have lasted longer. It was so freaking good. That's why I wanted it to last longer. So, um, but yeah, um, you can rent chairs. I think the chairs was like $10 to rent. We just took a blanket. We sat on the lawn because, um, actually, it feels better sitting on the ground. <laughs> because I was sitting in one of the, if I was sitting in one of those chairs, my ass would have been tumbling over. That's how, that's how I would have expected it. Because when you're sitting, you're sitting like up on a hill and you're sitting like this. Sorry, but my ass wouldn't be sitting flat, not like this. Because if I got up, I would have rolled down that hill, no doubt. Mm. Then, um, what do we do else do we do? I met a fan there, um, from the Rock Fuckers group, um, on Facebook. She was so sweet. I loved her. Uh, we took a picture together. Um, what else? I don't think else, what, what the hell else we did. Yeah. And then we went to Cookout and ate. Cookout is the only place that you can get a, a quesadilla as a freaking side. God, it's so good. I got fries and quesadilla plus a burger. It was so freaking good. And if you guys have not had their watermelon milkshake. Bitch, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting for? Because the shit's so freaking good. You get the fresh um, watermelon that's in it. They just throw it in the milkshake. Oh. It's a party in your mouth, as they say. Mm. So, yeah, I would highly recommend you guys going to cook out get you a watermelon milkshake. Because it's to die for. But, yeah, besides that, that's about it. Um, And then the last episode of Baby Oopsie came out. Oh, my goodness. I nearly cried. Um, because if you guys watch the ending of it, it is so sad. It really is. And it brought tears to my eyes. Um, but yeah, you guys need to go watch it. If you guys have not watched it yet, download the Full Moon Features app. It's only for $2.99 a month with the promo code Baby Oopsie. And you guys can watch the original Baby Oopsie 1 and 2. Plus, you guys can watch um, Baby Oopsie um, Murder Dolls, Episode 1 through 4. Plus, you got the Puppet Master Collection. You have, um, I think, Ghoulies and so much more that you guys can watch on the Full Moon Features app. It has, has, ugh, it has like over hundreds of movies. So, you guys will be interested. If you guys are a horror movie fan, this that app will do you justice. It's so freaking good. Um, 
What else? Okay, so let's get into the questions, because I haven't done the questions yet. <laughs> I'm up here running my damn mouth and telling you guys what all I did yesterday. I freaking loved it. If I could do it again, I freaking would. I would reverse yesterday and redo it all over again. So, question number one. Do you have any more acting roles plans? Yes, I do. I'm taking a cameo appearance in the movie um, Pay to Die. It's with Sean, um, Sean Phillips and Lauren Francesca. So, that's going to be a good movie that's going to be coming out. I'm making a, a little slight appearance in it. And then, uh, we also... I have another movie. I just can't say what it is and what's the details. But it's I'm going to be filming it in, in, not May, in November of this year. So, that's going to be freaking awesome. Um... What else? I think that's about it. And if you guys love Baby Oopsie, if you guys want to see more, go ahead and, you know, request it. You know, do a review on Amazon. Do a review. I think that's about it that you can do a review on is Amazon. And say how much you love Baby Oopsie and that you want to see more of it. Because, honey, we would love to do more for you guys. But we got to know, would you guys want to see it again? Would you guys not? So, comment on Amazon. Let's see what the number two is. Number two, would you ever have, would you ever be in a threesome? I get that question so damn much. Would you ever be in a threesome? A threesome, a threesome. God, that's, uh, yeah, the only threesome I want is Austin Mahone and Justin Bieber. That's it. That's the only threesome I could ever imagine myself in. Don't, uh-uh, no. Don't give me no damn rookies. If I'm doing a threesome, you better give me some damn pros. I ain't doing that rookie shit. But yeah, so you guys know, if that's my if that's a threesome I, I need, it's Austin Mahone and Justin Bieber. Or some freaking pros that knows how to throw it. Alright, so I normally do a vice on Tuesday, but I know this mukbang is going to be uploaded today and today's Tuesday. So, advice is going to be on Thursday, but we're going to do an advice question right now. Struggling with weight loss and insecurities. Now, my boyfriend and I haven't had sex in months. But you know what? If your boyfriend can't give you sex because of your weight, then something's fucking wrong. Okay? It's not you. It's his ass. And so, don't be thinking, oh, my weight is the problem. My weight. No. Honey, it's not your weight. It's your boyfriend. Don't be feeling insecure about yourself. It's his ass. It's his problem. Not yours. Because there's a lot of men out there that wants to, you know, mm. um, But yeah, don't be letting that man of yours be saying, uh, I don't want to have sex because of your weight. No. Mm -mm. Let it be known that you're perfect just the way you are. You don't need to change it. nothing about yourself. Keep loving yourself. That's the only thing that you can do and that I advise you to do. But yeah, besides that, it's the man's problem, not yours, honey. Whew, Lord, I believe this turned into a mukbang slash a, well, not even a mukbang. It's just a doggone um, the day in the life story. Mm. That's really good. Okay, if that's the gordita. Oh, no, this is a chicken. This right here is the damn. So much fucking cheese on this shit. I hate when you're trying to unwrap it and it just sticks. Mmm. Damn, baby. They stack that cheese on there. Look at that. This. I hate when the wrappers gets all in the shit. Come on now, let me eat my damn gordita crunch. My um, cheesy one. Mmm. So damn good. It's a crunch plus with a taco shell inside of it. Mmm. 
a little piece of heaven. That's all it is. Mm. Mm. That's really good. I'm glad I got two of those for later. But yeah, honeys, I hope you guys enjoyed the mukbang. Don't forget to give this video a like. Share this video with all your loved ones. Plus, leave a comment below where would you um, guys like to see me eat next. And um, I'm also on Cameo, so if you guys want a personal shout-out, go ahead and get your Cameo right now. Plus, I'm also on Patreon if you guys want to um, do the membership tiers. The link is in the description box below as well. But, honeys, I love you guys so much. Keep staying you, stay beautiful, and stay strong. Remember to stay positive always. Love you, honeys. Bye.